everybody, Sean here from VidGamiac.com. Here we are today back in Fallout 3, grabbing the Weaponsmith achievement. This is to craft every single craftable weapon in the game. I recommend this being one of the last achievements you go for, simply because you need to do many of the side quests in order to get all the blueprints. So you need to have the Wasteland Survival Guide done, as well as the Head of State side mission, the Nuka-Cola Challenge side mission, the Stealing Independence, and the Blood Ties side missions done. Once you finish all those side missions, you should have 5 out of the 7 of the blueprints you need. Blueprint 6 is going to be over here in the lower west corner of the map. This is going to be the Francis Scott Key campground. There's going to be a death claw right here defending this trailer. Once you take care of him, you can go and grab the blueprint next to this dead guy. And then blueprint 7 is going to be found in Megaton in the supply shop. It is going to cost a couple of caps, about 1600 or so. So make sure you get some money before you buy this. There's also alternative ways you can get the first five blueprints, however they cost a lot of money because you could buy them from random people. But uh, since you need to do those side quests to get the rest of the achievements in the game anyway, so you might as well do that and save yourself a lot of money and time. Alright, so once you have the blueprints, you can look the ingredients up anytime in the notes section of the data part of your Pip-Boy. Just look up all the different schematics and make sure you make a list of what you need. So there's many ways of getting all these items. The most assured way to get most of them is through junk surplus stores like the one we were just at in Megaton. So just talk to her, go to the miscellaneous section and then just go down the list and see whatever she has and make sure you buy all of that for your stuff. So. This is going to be a majority of all the stuff we need, and it's going to be random every time. So what you want to do is you want to go to the store, buy what you need, check it off your list, and then you want to wait 72 hours, and then come back and see what else she has. So you can either stand outside the store and then hit the back button and then wait 72 hours or 3 days. Or you can go to your bed and then just do the same thing, just sleep it off and then come back, and she should restock. If she doesn't, just go outside and wait another day. That happens from time to time where it takes four days for her to restock, but eventually you should get a majority of the items this way. But if not, there's a few items that uh, won't show up this way, so we are going to have to go looking for them out in the wasteland. A really good place to go find items is going to be in Minefield. You should have been here already as part of the Wasteland Survival Guide mission. You come here in the third part, I believe. Once you're here, what you need to do is you want to fast travel, and then from the fast travel point, you want to head into the house on your left. I think you need a key to open this up, which you can grab off of the sniper in town, who's going to be at the end of the road. So once you're here, grab the leather belt, the medical brace, the crutches, and the surgical tubing, as well as the toy car in the kids' room upstairs. Turn around, and you can grab the cherry bomb behind you, and then what you can do is you can head into the master bedroom, and grab the vacuum cleaner right here. Of course, these are all things that can appear in the junk store. However, if you are bad at the luck of the draw, you can just come here and grab all the stuff you need. Go into the kitchen, grab the pressure cooker, and then in the oven, you should get the pilot lights since most ovens have pilot lights. Head back outside and you want to go to the house down the street. And if you're wondering where the sniper is, he's in that kind of like that parking garage area but I already took care of him during our first travel here. Careful for mines, but you should have already disarmed most of them uh, um, in your first visit here. Uh, head into the kitchen. You can grab another pressure cooker if you want to, but the thing you want to look for is in the corner. It's going to be this paint gun. Then look on the, the uh, breakfast table right here. You can grab the conductor, the sensor module, as well as the steam gauge assembly, which are three items I had a lot of trouble finding in the surplus store. Then you can head upstairs into the children's room and then you can grab a lunchbox in here. So make sure you take that and there's two of them in case you want a second one. Head back outside and then look into the side yard of the same house and you should see a lawnmower here. You can grab the lawnmower blade. Also over here is going to be this uh, leaf blower you can grab. And then over here is going to be the motorcycle gas tank as well as the motorcycle brake handle. Now, another place I recommend hitting up is going to be the Nuka-Cola plant at the south of the map right here. You should have already been here because this is a good place to grab Nuka-Cola Quantums for the Nuka-Cola challenge. So if you already cleared this place out, you can uh, come here and you'll have an easier time. Make sure you grab a tin can next to the statue. There is a bottle of Nuka-Cola Quantum in the truck in the back of the factory, so grab that if you haven't already or if you used it as part of the Nuka-Cola challenge. There's also three more in the factory. 
Um, the factory is also patrolled by the security bots. Make sure you kill them and then loot one of them for the fission battery. And you also need a Nuka-Cola Quantum. So if you haven't gotten the four in the factory yet, make sure you grab one. But you probably already did for the Nuka-Cola challenge, obviously. But you do need a Nuka-Cola Quantum for this achievement. Alright, next up you want to go to Old Olney, and this is like Deathclaw City. So make sure you kill a Deathclaw and then grab a Deathclaw Hand. There's like six of them there, so no problem. Next up you need a Rad Scorpion Gland. Rad Scorpions are going to be found in the western part of the map out in the wasteland. A good place to fast travel is going to be the garage where Vault 112 is hidden. And literally I found one like six steps away. So make sure you kill any type of Rad Scorpion and then grab the Rad Scorpion Gland. Now, as I said before, you need a Nuka-Cola Quantum, but you should have already gotten most of them for the Nuka-Cola Challenge, since you need 30 of them for that. And since I don't know which Nuka-Cola Quantums you may or may not have picked up from that achievement, I'm just going to leave a link below on a list of all the Nuka-Cola Quantum spots. You only need one for this, and the one I'm grabbing is going to be the one in the pharmacy of the Super Duper Mart. Keep in mind that if you have one of the DLCs, I think it's the third one, there is a perk you can use and then you can convert all your Nuka-Cola regulars into Quantums. So that's always an option in case you can't find any Quantums, but there should be at least 70 more left on the map after grabbing the first 30. And that's the last ingredient. Head to a workbench. If you don't know where to look for this, there is one in Rivet City. So make sure you head into the Rivet City Marketplace and then use it. Just go through the list and then craft every single item. I'm using the workbench in my own house, which you have to buy. So you can use any workbench, it doesn't really matter as long as you go to it and then have all the ingredients. Just go down the list and once you make all seven, you should get your achievement. There it is, it's going to be for 30 gamer score and that's all there is to it.